Well, they're here in the studio. Uh, one of them is making me want to eat dry fish now because I can smell it. Did you bring for me? <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, well, well. Uh, I'm being joined in the studio by these uh, farmers, two gentlemen and a lady. I'll let them introduce themselves. And then, of course, we'll start off with, you know, what transpired um, um, and how they got into the situation that they're in right now. Uh, I'll start with you, sir. Can you introduce yourself to us? My name is uh, Dr. Olubi Olukayode. Mm -hmm. I work with Federal College of Histories, but I also have a stake at uh, the Buti of where I have two uh, small sizes of cages. Hmm. In the farm where I stock my cat, I mean tilapia fish and pangaceous fish. Wow. What's your name, sir? I'm, I'm Banjo Abdurrahim, mm -hmm. the treasurer of Ebiti Afia Fish Farm Association. Hmm. Madam? I'm in the Samuel Hashem Latifat, fish farmer, mm. the secretary. I'm, ah. I'm Pisa Adeshewa, one of the fish farmers at Ebiti Afia Ebe. Lovely. Um, we got a video which I'm going to play, um, hopefully, um, for you guys to, for, the, for Lagos to listen to. But before we get to playing that video, stop tell, tell us exactly what happened. Because I'm not very used to, you know, um, the, the way that, you know, what I saw and how, it's, how close it, it is to the water. Because I'm used to the normal fish ponds that people have in their homes. Um, but then the, you talked about the culturing of those ponds and how dredging affected it. Explain to us exactly what happened. Yeah, what we offer at the of here is just uh, a style of uh, fish culture that we call cage culture. There's several ways you can culture your fish. You can raise them in the concrete tanks. You can dig ground and uh, raise them called this one eating pond. Mm -hmm. You can use uh, you know, vats like uh, maybe uh, plastic containers. Mm -hmm. uh, you can call it plastic uh, you can also use uh, maybe tarpaulin. Mm -hmm. So you have different culture method, but the one we use at Eputi of here is called cage culture, mm. which means just having a confinement using netting material, mm -hmm. and you keep your fish in there as if they are in a box mm -hmm. inside the water right away. And we've been doing that for several years now uh, without any azu mm. no problem. It's a community where people live. Okay. And they do their daily activity in there. Mm -hmm. uh, so on this particular day, sometime last week, on, on Tuesday. Tuesday. Last week, Tuesday. Last okay. week, Tuesday. Mm -hmm. uh, a day before, I think that was on a Monday, and we have that on record also. There was this dredging company, Renicon, Renicon Company, that dredged a little closer to our system, closer than what they used were you, to do. Were you informed that this dredging was going to happen close no, to where no, you're farming? No, no, no. Yeah. If they have informed us, uh, one of the things probably we could have done is to shift the cages away at least a little distance from mm. where they are operating. Mm. Uh -huh, but we were not informed. But once that activity takes place, usually what happens is that when such activity is, is done, you they stir up the sand from under the water and mm. that clog the gills of our fish. That's what led to all this uh, death. So they suffocate? Of course. That's just a natural thing that happens to them. Uh, so all these other excuses that people are giving are because of uh, weeds, uh, water icing on the surface of the water, or oh, change of water temperature, uh, people washing their clothes near the... Sometimes but they've been clothes. washing the clothes exactly. around there for, for, for how long? It's I'm a community just where, where people stay all the time. So it's not that they are just washing their clothes for the first time in there today. Water icing is also a regular occurrence. You can find it in the morning, later in the evening, the wind will have blown it away. So mm. it's a regular thing we see on a yearly basis. So the only thing that happens this particular day was just this. And just because they were a little closer. Good enough, we have it on record. Uh, one military guy who was just doing his own, mm. maybe just playing, recorded the activities. And, and that's the video that we have. That's the, uh, so we have I'd that. like to play that video while um, you tell me, how much fish did you lose um, on that day um, when that dredging thing happened? Um, I personally, I lost over 10,000 fishes. 10,000? Yes. And how much would that have come to for you? It's over 8 million. What? 8 million. Uh. Wow. Wow, 8 million naira is a lot of money in today's, <laughs> <laughs> today's Nigeria. It's a loss. That's why I not say so much on the social media because you felt the pain. You felt the pain. I'd like to quickly just play this video. Um of what happened, or the soldier who was recording. And how much would that have come to for you? Wow. Wow, eight million naira is a lot of money today.
All right, well, we'll try as much as possible not to um, play that part of the video. But unfortunately, this is the situation. One of the person, in fact, the person who you heard her voice on that video is here in the studio. I could quickly immediately pick her up because she said something that was very important, that this is what she uses to take care of her children. I can't begin to imagine how heart-wrenching that was for you, how terrible you feel because it, it feels like your own only for source of livelihood has been taken from you. But when you spoke to these dredgers, were you able to meet them? What what was the response that you got? No, actually, we have recorded to the we have told the ministry because we are under the ministry the ministry of agriculture that put us there, and we have told them they said they would send their representatives to go and meet them, but we didn't know maybe they would go there or not. But that day when the incident occurred, we go to the police station to go and inform them because to if you out that thing is happening, if you say if you go and good day all of us we, we start fighting because what <laughs> happened that day it really pays everybody we mm. are in odds we are in pains so we actually we go to the police station to go and tell them they said that we invite them but the second day when they caught they they said everything together and they were saying that they had never know that they are doing cage culture before and since we have de- been there more than 10 years now the dredgers just just come here they haven't they haven't spent two years in that place, we are over than ten years, and I told the representatives who come from different places to come and investigate there that any place that they are doing dredgings, they should go and confirm there will not be any cage culture. They may be fish farmers, even fish farmers that they will go far into the water to go and, to go and do their uh, fishing. Mm. But any place where they are doing dredging, there will not be any cage culture mm. because it will affect all the cages. It's true that that day I was talking because I'm in pain. I'm a single mother oh. and I'm a graduate. So mm. I seek for job. Even the ministry go to those people that I know that are on top, but I didn't see the job. So actually that farming, so I have to have passion for it. Mm. So even the state... Can gov- I ask what you studied? I studied uh, uh, um, performing arts. Really? Yes. Yes, mm. in SOS in Mokped. Mm-hmm. Which now last word university now. Lovely. Yes. So when there is no job, so I have to have that passion because I already started fish farming mm. 2016. So th- the last year, even when I went to the ministry to go and beg for a job. Even if I'm still doing the fish farming, you know everybody the feed is very cost now. Yeah. That I even I'm a single mother. My mother is old. My father too is old. So I have to take care of them. Even if I'm doing the fish farming. The salary that I'll be collecting, I was using that one to be taking care mm. of myself. So when I tried that, I didn't see. So I have to go to loan. Even last year, I constructed cage 4.5 million naira for faces because government they give us when they empower us, they empower us all of us with one one cage, mm. one cage. So yes. all of us have expand. So Those you needed to build more cages. Yes, 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 because that money we didn't spend it. Yeah. And you know that any government work is continuity. Mm. If you if they do something for you, you have to tell them that you are a good citizen and spend the, the government money well. Yeah. So I have to go to loan because when when I seek job I didn't see. So I have to go to loan eight million naira last year to construct cage and stock fish. I stock seven thousand five into five cages. Wow. So everything is gone. I have to harvest next year uh, next month which is April, but now, even the cost of the money, everything is lost, so I'm down. That is what is really paining me that day, because ooh, everybody knows the economy of the country now. 
We know people are suffering, even to eat, even to pay the school fees. Hmm. The house rate is there. So that is what we are, that is paining us. So we are asking the federal government, the ministry, everybody that is in help, they should support us. Wow. They should support us. I don't, even know. I don't even know where you guys are going to start from. But madam, I can see from your face, you, you don't even know what to do. <laughs> um, how much fish did you lose? I lose 3,000 fish. Can you come close to the mic? 3,000 pieces of fishes. Um, and how much would that come to? Uh, after the, I can realize like uh, 2.3 million naira. 2.3 million naira? Yes. Wow. That's a lot of money. Um, so my, my biggest worry is if you've been able to interface with this company i'm coming back to you um because something has to give if you're supposed to get a harvest next month and they're all gone mm. and you have loans that you have to service mm. where do you start from yeah, that, that's the pain you know. actually you know uh it's the the closeness of the harvesting and that made it really very painful for uh, very few of us. I mean, imagine if I was just stocking the fish or stock the cages, just uh, maybe young, young fish. The cost of, uh, you know, raising Does them it make it easier if it's, it's just it's new? Cheaper. They are cheaper at that level. Uh. All the cost we'll be talking about is just the cost of the seed, which uh. is the fingerling. Which yes, the fingerling. But yes. now you've expended so much on the feed for this number of months. Imagine fish stocked since uh, early October. Uh, so they were ready for, they'll be ready for market in April. So you are already you have your uh, estimate or by the time I harvest this, I will get this and get that and be able to restock again. And now everything is gone. So that's the syrup pain. I'm more On a daily basis, the cost of the food is going up. Um, can you just shift closer this yeah. way? Um, let me come to you. Uh, is there any su form of subsidy for the feed uh, for the sh uh, fish, being that, you know, government has empowered you or in anything? Is there... For the program, it was the government that introduced the cage culture to us. Previously we are into previously we are into ethnic pond. But the state government through the Ministry of Agri they introdu introduced the cage culture. Mm -hmm. Then it was catfish. But appeal Lagos appeal project is a World Bank assisted program. They mm -hmm. introduced the tilapia cage culture to us. Mm -hmm. So and we were empowered according to what Madame has just said, we are empowered mm -hmm. with one one cages ish. Mm -hmm. Presently I mean I have five cages. The other four was my own personal effort and the continuous activities that imp improved to that level. Mm. So there was no subsidy from anybody. It was when the program started, it was 100% grant from the World Bank. Oh, okay. The feed, we were given 1,005 fish. Seedlings or seedling, fingerlings. Yes, Finger. fingerlings of tilapia. Yeah. Feed that we feed it to harvest mm -hmm. and the cage. Ah. So on that, we started from. So, <laughs> so you're telling me that what has been destroyed, what we're seeing in these videos, are fish that you have been uh, breeding since October last year. Yes. And by next year, by next month, April, you yeah, should have harvested them. Yes. Exactly. What do you need now? What do you want now? What are you asking for now? Well, what? Re really, I don't think uh, anybody can really compensate for the loss. But somehow, uh, your pain is reduced a little if there's a little sympathy by at least providing number one uh some seed with the fingerlings to start with and the feed that we require to carry them because even if i start today uh, the loss we have now is going to take another six months before i could come to this point so there's no way you can make up that all right uh, nobody will believe me if i told, if i tell you i've spent or i've spent this much you say ah, i can't yeah, spend that much <laughs> but i know how much i've lost all right but if we can't compensate to that, that much, uh, what we're asking for, at least to show a little concern for us from the government end, is so to buy the seed for us, buy the feed that will carry us through to that point so that this pain we suffer will somehow find a little relief. Quickly, in, in 20 seconds. Apart from compensating now with the feed and Sydney, what we want now is the dredging. They just came to that lagoon. They came to that lagoon now up to they are now up to two years now. And we've been, we've been there more than 10 years. Mm. There's other places they can go and dredge. If the government really wants that program to improve. We'll, we'll come back after this break. Lagos, uh, we're talking about um, 
Um, well, a situation in Ekpe, and we have fish farmers in the studio. When we come back from this break, uh, the phone lines will be open and the conversation continues. Stay with us. It's still uh, Balogu and Broad. This is an infomercial. Talking about winnings, you definitely know that when it comes to winning, especially winning money, your one true partner is oneplay.ng, especially on Nigeria Info. You see, nowadays, ladies and gentlemen, we have upped the take. On Nigeria Info now, the daily winnings are now over 150,000 naira. All you have to do, still, it has not changed, the process has not changed, is go to the website at www.oneplay.ng. That is one, as in the number one, play, P L. A Y dot N G or dial from your phone star three four seven star eight eight zero star three hash play with as little as five hundred naira and within a few seconds your ticket will be in that draw that big draw where money is being won you will be won in the number the more you play the better your chances of winning every day on the crossfire that is the morning fire what's up lagos and a game on shows on the weekdays and of course on the weekends the football frenzy show is definitely there for you because you can win money on that show so doing this every day that is the jack that is the gist ladies and gentlemen but that's not all Every Friday, put your ear out of this one. Every Friday, there will be 500,000 naira in a jackpot for one lucky winner to win. Playing during the week automatically qualifies you for this weekly jackpot. What are you waiting for? Your chances of winning are the same as whether you play on oneplay.ng or you play dialing the code star 347 star 880 star 3 hash. Remember to play responsibly and make sure you are above the age of 18 while playing. OnePlay is a registered trademark under Lasho Trading Services Limited, licensed by the Lagos State Lotteries and Gaming Commission. More talk, news and sports after this. The question is not why South Africa. The real question is how you South Africa. How you'll come across a thousand tongues that all speak in one voice. Welcome. How you can wake up with one foot firmly planted in the Indian Ocean and the other in the Atlantic Ocean. How diamonds and couture are but a stone's throw away from the safari. How your tongue will visit a million destinations on one plate. How your feet will sway in Jembe, your torso in Amapiano, and your mind in bliss. How crystal clear rivers flow in the day and crystal flows in the night. Whoa. We know this because this is how we South Africa every single day. And this is why we invite you to South Africa with us. Own your moments in South Africa this Easter holiday. Explore new holiday deals at SouthAfrica.net. Come journey with us. Start your day and have a good time. Even when you need to clear your eyes. Even when you need to have the break time. It's not tea, but for Garita. Evil, evil, crema. Evil, crema. Evil, crema. Evil, crema. Good time moment with Kivo crema. Evil, crema. Hello! Are you looking for a place to get affordable luxury wristwatches, jewelry, and bags? Then your search is over. May Brands Limited is a place where you can shop exclusive and affordable fashion brands. May Brands Limited is the distributor of fossil brands, authentic Michael Kors, Emporium, Marnie, Nixon, Diesel, all with two years international warranty on the movement of the watch and excellent after-sales service, which involves after-purchase maintenance and watch repair. My guys, I'm always on the go. But I never miss any match day because with the new show Max Premier League app, every match day is my day. Stream the Premier League live on the new show Max app for just 2900 monthly. Chicken change for you and chicken change for me. Yes, so you've heard Obi Kubana. Join the excitement and stream all 380 games of the Premier League live on your mobile. Download and subscribe to the new show Max app today. Show Max, streaming for Africa. Every parent wants to see their child growing up happy and healthy. Introducing Renzo Vitamins for Kids, a secret to your child's daily nutrition and boundless joy. With Renzo Vitamins, your child will have the energy to embrace every moment and unlock their full potential. 
Give your child a head start in life with Renzo Vitamins for Kids because a happy child is a healthy child. Renzo's! Two things you can't have it all with one play. I got that defined boy. You have just won yourself. Oh, Hello, good morning. Yes, Melitus. For one player, don't talk for two players because you want 20k. <laughs> and so now you want yourself 20,000 naira. My name is well done. Okay, well done. You want to tell you well done, you want yourself 20,000 naira. With 500 naira, you can play to win big from 120,000 naira to 190,000 naira daily on Nigeria Info. Go to oneplay.ng and play with 500 naira. And in a few seconds, your ticket is in the draw. Or dial star 347 star 880 star 3 hash. Win daily on Nigeria Info. 50,000 naira on Money Cross Fire. 60,000 naira on WhatsApp Lagos. 20,000 naira on Sunny Side. And 60,000 naira on on Game On. So Lagos, what are you waiting for? The more you play, the better your chances of winning. Remember to dial star 347 star 880 star 3 hash. Play responsibly, not suitable for persons under the age of 18. Every morning, no better chance to carry your hustle go higher level. So, make you start your day with the correct taste of Nescafe. Start strong, finish strong. Nescafe. Hey there! Ready to break free from the old ways of doing business? Especially when it comes to paying for things internationally. Get ready to elevate your game with the Virtual Virtual Business Debit Card. No more headaches from conversion fees and spending limits. Virto gives you the freedom to transact globally, all from the palm of your hands. Imagine effortlessly paying suppliers worldwide on time, every time, with just a tap on your phone. And the best part? With Virto, you can pay in multiple currencies, including USD, pounds, and Euro without ever leaving your desk. Ready to take your business to new heights? Download the Virto Pay app now. Don't miss out. Empower your business today with Virto. Download the Virto Pay app now. T's and C's apply. Your favorite Indomie noodles is now 250 Naira for Indomitable. 70 grams and 400 Naira for Super Pack 120 grams. Head to your nearest store and grab your favorite Indomie noodles at this new price. Indomie, tasty nutrition. Good for you. My son, hey, let me check this phone. I don't know what you junior press. You know they work again. Look, I see. Ah, mommy. What did happen? They don't block your line now. Nobody like to chop block, you know. So, if they don't block you, on to say you not link your NIN to your Airtel line, run, kitty kitty, go any Airtel shop with your NIN to unblock your line today. Airtel, a reason to imagine. Ah, afternoon, my keys. Guys, I they go topo. I beg you, add more stew, madam. Mmm, this food's sweet. Ah, my chest. Ah, say chest to the pepe you. I be food no good digest for your belly. Make you try Jesteed. Now, you might advise people made them they take for the past 26 years. Jesteed, now brand of aluminium and magnesium hydroxide and cemented corn. Jesteed, they for liquid and tablet. Now, you might they use when chest they pepe me and food no good digest for belly. Jesteed, don't they for new pack now. If after three days you never better, go see Dokita. Make you read the paper with the inside. I remember being screamed at. The customer was not going to pay for the Bantu knots. But giving up was not an option then. And it isn't now. Not even fear can stop me. Be fearless. Be beautiful with Lush Hair. Lush Hair. Be beautiful. In Nigeria, the weather can change in an instant. Just like life itself. Even when you are caught in a heavy downpour or hammer tan has left your skin dry, there's one thing that never changes. The restoring power of Vaseline Petroleum Jelly. Because we all know when hammer tan strikes, if you are not protecting your skin, it cracks. So do your lips and no one wants that. So use Vaseline Petroleum Jelly to keep your skin healthy, smooth, moisturized and protected all day long so you can embrace every season with confidence <laughs> before before their problem we say our shoulder too high they say make we lower our chest <laughs> now eh, they, they wonder why we know they ever lack airtime credit and data on top of our glow line whether cash day or cash not day <laughs> <laughs> you they might approach people for this market we know they call ourselves digital generation for nothing a bit to get airtime credit and data take separate Plenty market every day, non-stop. Now your mates, eh? <laughs> With the 
she get our handle or you know deal. We could just buy data and airtime credit directly from our bank account with the glow eat up pop. That is to say, no cash, no wahala. Yes, so cashless recharge on the go anytime, anywhere. No stress, no shake me, shake me, no wahala. <laughs> buy data and airtime directly from your bank account with glow eat up pop. It is easy, quick, and available on your mobile apps, ATMs, websites, leading retailers, and glow world shops. Or download Glow Cafe app to top up or dial star 777 hash. Glow Unlimited. Ah, my brother, I'm not fit to find my shares. Oh, it be like say all the money where I put for shares don't lose. So. <laughs> That one that's more matter now. You never hear of ISF. ISF not the integrated shares finder. We integrated trust and investment in CARICOM. Now in video bonge product, we will help you find your missing shares and dividends. With the any money, you could just register for ISF. And ISF will get your shares and dividends the back sharp sharp. To find your shares, just to call 0901-502-5992 or 0703-041-6997. Or check our website for www www.integratedtrustng.com Abi, make you come our head office for Integrated Trust Office 61 Marina, Lagos or Office for Ibado and Abuja ISF. Now the show way to find your missing shares and dividends. Ah, uh-uh. ah, Falake, where are you going? Won't you go to the cashier to settle your medical bills? Bills? Cashier? My HM already handles that. Oh, you and this HMOs every time. Is it not the same HMOs we all know? No, we like HMO is different. For example, I'm only here because I needed a physical examination. Other times, I chat with a doctor from the comfort of my home. I can even get a prescription delivered. But they only cover you when you are ill. That's not true. I had my facials done courtesy of my HMO. Even my workout sessions are covered by Reliance HMO. How about... Reliance HMO has a hospital roaming. Their relationship with providers makes it so easy to access care at any facility. Approvals take a short time. They tell you what you're covered for. With the Reliance Care app, I have all I need in my back pocket. I can connect with the rep in seconds. How is that even possible? This is Reliance HMO, the next generation health plan for businesses. Visit www.getreliancehealth.com or call 0201-700-1580. Number one talk, news, and sports station. This is Nigeria Info. Nigeria Info. Listeners, trust us on Hatchback. Whether it's politics, social issues, controversies, and trending stories, you know we're credible and objective. It, it, it's Hard Facts with Miriam Okun on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Yes, we are back. It's Balogo and Broad, and I'm still being joined in the studio by uh, members of the Ebute Afuye Fish Farmers Association at Kbe Lagos State. I have Banjo Abdul Rakhim. Abdul Rakhim, I have Olubi Olukayade, Ilesami Oluasheon, and Adeshewa Peter. Um, they're all those who were affected by a dredging that happened around Ekbe Axis where they have their fish cages, uh, where they rear their fish, apparently. Um, from what they've told us is that um, the sand that comes up during the dredging got into um, you know, the fish fangs, right? And it somewhat strangled them. Millions of Naira lost. And in this studio, these two ladies, one is a single mother, one is a widow with six children. This is the business that helps her to take care of her children, her whole family. And this gentleman, obviously, also, um, this is what they use to keep body and soul together. Now, how do they get justice for what has happened um, in... um, you know, the uh, area of Ekbe. Well, these gentlemen and ladies have said that they need justice. They need compensation because they were supposed to harvest this fish in the coming month. But all all of the fish, gone, dead. And they, they, they're going to tell us what the name of the dredging company is. They're saying this dredging company is not dredging for the federal government. They're not dredging for the state government. They're dredging for themselves. And they're dredging to take sand from the river and go sell it. Now, that dredging has, one way or the other, affected their business, and they're asking for help. So I'm going to come back to you now, Abdurak- uh, Abdurakim. Um, what's the name of this company? And Because, of course, the average Nigerian that's listening is saying, what do you guys want? How, 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 how do you hope to get justice? The name of the company is 
company is Renekon Limited. Okay. And what we want now is the we don't we cannot coexist with that dredging in that water because the dredging is not for a certain period of time. Yes, it's a continuous uh, process. It's a continuous process. So according to the dredgers, they said they they have been licensed for eight years. So are we going to stop production of fish for that eight years? So and wha what is the government saying? Because of course, government and you, you, what you did is in collaboration with the World Bank and the Lagos State government. So yes. what are they saying about since it? the incident occurred? A lot of government parasitas, federal government parasitas, and state government parasitas. Even yesterday, there is many turning team from the office of the governor that came to that site. So the Lagos State Ministry of Mineral Resources, federal ministry. Um, mining mining and something everybody is there so the question is when do you get compensated so anyway lagos i want to open up the phone lines uh for you to join the conversation 0700 993 993 993 uh, butafuye fish farmers association uh in Ekbe, Lag lagos state are asking for compensation for all the fish that they lost they're not fingerlings fish i could see i mean we're going to put those videos back up for those of you who are watching we're live facebook.com forward slash nigeria info fm we're also live on YouTube, Nigeria Info FM. And uh, if you're listening from outside of the country, you want to be part of the conversation, we're also on Skype, Nigeria Info FM. Send me a WhatsApp message. I'd like to hear from you, Lagos. Go ahead, join the conversation. Hello, welcome to Hard Facts. Good evening, Miriam. Good evening. This is Mrs. Oboli calling from the corridor. All right, go ahead. First and foremost, I want to commiserate with the people in the studio. Honestly, I've done fish myself catfish to be precise and i know what it takes you know what it entails to do fish farming especially in the magnitude that they have gone mm. whatever it would cost honestly whoever has done this to their business to their venture should be made to compensate them at least you people say well, they, should, they say we should go and at least do something you know subsistence farming and these people are using this as their source of livelihood and you just wake up one day you say you want to dredge and allow people nigerians like you you know lose millions of naira they should be prosecuted and made to compensate these people it is imperative they do so that's all i can say all right thank you mr Bolly, for calling 0700 993 993 993 that's 0700 993-993-993. If you're a lady, you can call 0201-465-7190. That's 0201-465-7190. Someone is asking, um, why didn't the fish farmers insure their farm? Someone's asking a question. Sir. Yeah, beautiful as that idea is uh, to a subsistence uh, level of uh, fish that we are doing. Uh, we think of that as time goes on, as we expand. But just because everybody is just trying to make an end Get means, by. Yeah, so uh, that's why we're not thinking of uh, uh, kind of uh, activities for now. Hmm. Insurance makes sense, really, but because we're just doing subsistence uh, farming for now. Hmm. Mm. Um, so, as much as you keep telling me that oh, government have come, government, what is there any definite word or assurance that you've gotten from the government that you can hold on to that okay, help is on the way. There's hope that things might change for us and we might get compensated. Have you heard any such? No. Oh, no. no ma. None? Yes. Wow. But so, uh, so, so officially we've not had such, but some of the those people that came, they said they will do something to it. They will do something to it. But officially we've not. Well, but you need to get something yes, official. Yes, yeah. Are you taking a legal route to deal with this issue? We intend that we because that. we've taken the sample of the fish, the water, to the lab for test. Mm -hmm. After the test, we now go on with the legal. Can I quickly ask, befo ask before I go back to the phone lines? The phone lines are open 0700 993 993 993. You have questions, you've got comments, join the conversation. Is this company a Nigerian company or an international company? The dredging company? No, I don't know. But what I know is that they are running con limited. <laughs> so their staff, they are all black, black people. Black people. But somebody said they you normally see one white, white man there. Man so I don't know. Uh -huh. Okay. Hello. Welcome to... Oh, do call me back. Hello. Welcome to Hard Facts. <coughs> Hello. Hello. 
All right, do call me back. 0700-993-993-993. We'd like to hear your thoughts and comments on this issue. Um, when you call me, please turn off your radio. Hello. <coughs> Yeah, apologies. 0700 993 993 993. 0700 993 993. If you are watching live on Facebook and on YouTube, feel free to post your comments, questions uh, for my fish farmers in the studio today. Um, somebody says, uh, Stanley Okafor here is saying, Lagos State government is causing depression from all angles. Where do these people start from? Hello. Hello. Yes, good evening. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Good evening. My name is Zeno. I'm calling from a Kodu. All right, Zeno, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, for me, I think what Lagos State government is doing is very unfortunate to a lot of people. They are causing so many hardship. As it is now, we're, we're, we're all struggling to even survive the fuel subsidy removal. We're struggling to make ends meet. And Lagos State government is being very insensitive. They are breaking houses. They are doing all sorts. They have no regard for the people. I, I, me, I'm sorry. This, this is not. It's not Lagos State government that is dredging. Besides, then no, it's a private company dredging and selling the sand. Yes, they have been given a license to dredge, but it was from the federal government, not necessarily Lagos State government. Okay, then my apologies to Lagos State government. Then, mm. then I just think that generally people have people have been very sensitive to the plight of Nigerians. If you want to dredge, before you dredge, you should even inform the people so mm. that they can prepare. Mm. If you don't inform them and you just, you just come one day and you decide to dredge and you take their means of livelihood, definitely they should go legal on them. Mm. They should go legal on them. Okay. The hardship in Nigeria is so much for us to begin to, to, to be adding more and more. The average Nigerian is a magician. How he survives by the day is only by the, by the grace of God. Yes, Thank absolutely. You. Thank you, Zeno, for calling. I do appreciate this. Hello, welcome to Hard, Hard Fact. Hard, Hard, Hard. Hello? Yes, good evening. Turn off your radio, please. Yeah, good evening. Yeah. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, the thing I want to say is that sometimes in this country that we are, those people, they know that people were doing fish farming there. And they purposely went there and destroyed their livelihood. What kind of country are we? What kind of country are we? Look at the pain and the loss they caused to those people. And I pray they should meet the right people that we help them through that company, whoever those people are that went to do that. Have. And they should be well paid for. They should be well compensated. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Thank you for calling. I do appreciate it. Hello, welcome to Hard Facts. Hello. Good afternoon. Good evening. Um, what I want to say, my name is I.K. Mm-hmm. On this issue, they should please... Ike, turn off your radio. Get the, li- the right... Somebody like... A Ike, 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 turn off your Ike. radio. My radio is on. Um, uh, um, what's the name? Femi Falano. They should get that man and take those people to court. They should compensate them. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Do you think they have the money to afford the Falano chambers right now? Hello. 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 Uh, Mary, good yes, evening. good evening. Yeah, uh, Francis from VR. All right, Francis, go ahead. Yeah, I, I sympathize with your uh, guest in the studio. Mm-hmm. You know, it takes quite a lot of effort and money in this uh, present uh, Nigerian to establish business, you mm-hmm. know? Mm-hmm. And the Lagos state government, they're acting as if they have nothing to lose. Especially under the watch of Sowolu, I, I, did, I did not expect it to happen. A lot of destruction, you know. The other day, Jaconde estate was destroyed. I know. A lot, a lot of things just happening in, in, in Lagos State right now. And I, I'm appealing to Lagos State government. They shouldn't act as if they have nothing to lose. They shouldn't do this to people. They are, there's no government without the people, and there's nothing without government. Okay. That's yes, interfering. Good evening. All right, thank you. Um, I just want to restate again, the Lagos State government is not the ones responsible for the dredging. I'm putting it out there again, because I know it will be very quick to say, hey, Lagos State government. Yes, they do have some questions to answer, because the dredging is happening in Ekpe. It's not happening in uh, Ibadan. It's happening in Ekpe, obviously, and the businesses that have been affected are Lagos businesses. It's most especially a business that's been supported by the Lagos State government and the World Bank. So, yes, of course... Um, people would call upon them, but the dredges are a private company. 
licensed by the federal government of Nigeria. So you be guided when you are commenting on it. Hello. Hello, Mary. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. I can hear you. Go ahead. You have 60 seconds. Yeah, this is Pastor Ladipo. Go ahead, Pastor Ladipo. You see, my take on this matter is this. A lot of impunity is going on in this country. Once you know somebody in government, you can behave the way you like without minding. You see, it's like we have been designed to become an oppressor to each other. We use the religion to oppress each other. We use government. We use uniform. We use all kinds of things. If people are earning their livelihood, you want to do your own livelihood. Why not consult them? Why not talk with them? They are not dragging the place with you. See, you discover that if by the time they will take this thing to the courts, that will be another another place of where they will be spending money. Because adjournment upon adjournment until and in Nigeria today, let me tell you, court is not the last hope of the common man. Court is the place where the highest bidder sometimes takes they take the whole thing. It's painful. I feel for them. All right. Really feel for them. Thank you, Pastor Ladipo, for calling. Someone here says, I think your guest should file a legal suit um, against the company and the federal government. That's the only way compensation can come. If not, even when government decides to give anything, some government officials will corner it. Thank you. Um, Saji from Ikorudu. Um, lastly, guys, um, because everyone obviously feels your pain, but we have just about 60 seconds to go. Um, when do you decide to file the suit? When do you decide to go to court? Because time is not on your side. Yeah, we <coughs> we try to do some laboratory analysis of some of our products, the fish that died, and some of the water samples that we took that day. So the result will be out in another uh, a week plus. Mm. Uh, so once that is out, we'll be ready for our legal battles. Keep us posted and carry us along uh, with all the developments on this story. I want to say thank you, Banjo Adurahim, um, Olubi Olukayade, Ilesami Oluwashewa, and Peter Deshewa, all of the Ebutafuye Fish Farmers Association in Lagos State, Ekbe. Thank you so much for being in the studio. I really, really feel bad for what you have to experience. But hopefully something good comes out of this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so All right, Lagos, we'll take a quick break. When we come back, we'll be I'll be saying my goodbyes on the show. At Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. 99.3 Nigeria Info.